Today I'm going to show you five secrets to the best burger you've ever had, so stick around. Hey, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. This is the channel that takes you on interesting barbecue crawls to faraway interesting places. We try backyard cooking recipes and backyard barbecue is always the king. So today I'm going to show you five secrets, tips, techniques, tricks, whatever you want to call them. There are five essential things you want to do to get that perfect burger when you're cooking them. Secret number one, 80-20 beef. A lot of people don't realize that but that is the perfect ratio for the most delicious grilled burger that you've ever had. If you're on a diet, if you're worried about your figure, well, maybe this recipe isn't for you. In that case, substitute for a leaner piece of meat. And if you really have the budget for it, ask your butcher to grind up some brisket, beef rib, maybe even some ribeye, grind that up. And then what you wanna do is put them into six to seven ounce balls. Don't pack it too tightly. You want those cracks and crevices. I'll tell you why in a minute and then put them in the fridge overnight. You can even mix up an egg in the uh, mixture if you want. Let them set up in the fridge. What you're trying to do is get rid of some of that water. It's definitely in there. Don't worry, the fat's not going nowhere. Secret number two, prepare your garnishes first. So when that meat comes off the grill, nice and hot, juicy, the cheese is just right, that's how you want to eat it. So get everything ready, especially the lettuce, the onions, the tomatoes, whatever you're preparing to build your burger with set that stuff aside maybe keep it in the fridge on a platter cover it let it chill um, but you definitely want to do this first that way when you pull that delicious meat off the grill it's ready to build okay secret number three season season and more season I can't say it enough every step in the process you want to throw your favorite seasoning on there in this case, I use salt, pepper, garlic, real basic, granulated. You want to season the balls of meat. You want to season the buns. You want to season the meat when it goes on the grill. And as you're building the burger, so please, please, please add seasoning every step of the way. You're not going to oversalt your meat. Secret number four. Did I do that right? Secret number four. Toast your buns. You know what I'm talking about. So some people have different takes on how you should toast your buns. You should definitely uh, put them on the griddle top. Uh, butter will sometimes make your buns too soggy. Um, your choice. Uh, definitely get them on the, the griddle. In this case, I'm using a flat top Cuisinart 360. Uh, let them brown up. Usually I do it when I'm cooking the burgers. Toasting your buns will protect the bread from getting too soggy too soon so that you're gonna enjoy your burger much longer. Secret number five, smash it. The reason that we wanted to make little uh, six to seven ounce balls of meat, not too tight, leave them loose, is because all those nooks and crannies, those cracks and crevices are gonna allow the fat to render down uh, more complete and cook in their uh, fatty juices and just get more flavorful. Plus, after you prepare your griddle as hot as you can get it with some oil, I mean, get it hot, 500 degrees if you can. Um, you drop your balls on there, you take your spatula, weight, I don't recommend your bare hands, and smash them, okay? You're not gonna hurt the meat. You're not gonna destroy the meat. What you're gonna do is grill those things up to where they're so delicious, you want that, you want that char, you want that crispiness, because that's where the flavor is. Trust me on this, get it nice and thin, smash it down, and oh, of course, season, season, season. So once the burgers are as crisp as you need them, and that cheese has had a chance to completely melt down the way you want it, pull, pull them off, put them in a tray, take them in, where all your garnishes are nice and chilled and just waiting for you to build that burger. Okay, so now for our black belt trick, sauce. Okay, so that's a bonus, I guess but you just don't want to waste ketchup or mustard uh, or mayonnaise on a burger like this. It's really easy to mix up a perfect burger sauce. So what we have here is some mayonnaise. 
with a little bit of brown mustard, spicy brown mustard, and some wasabio, wasabio <laughs> sauce. And we mix it up and it just was delicious. It'll knock you out. Use mayonnaise as a base, throw in whatever you want. Um, you're gonna be amazed, but definitely get yourself a sauce that's tangy, that's uh, spicy and, and you'll love it. So next thing we gotta do is just build them and that's pretty simple. I like to lay down the base burger bun. I like to put my sauce, and don't skimp on this, but I like to put my sauce on both halves of the bun. Then we'll take a little bit of butter lettuce or green leafy lettuce, break them a little bit to make sure they lay flat. I like to take a single tomato and lay it on there to give the burger a nice flat surface to sit on. Then I put the burger on there. I like red onions. Now you could saute your onions or not. Not everyone likes sauteed onions. Uh, but I like putting the onions on top. And then again, season every once in a while here, especially on the vegetables. Then throw that top burger on and enjoy. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. My goal here was to show you guys five secrets that I like to use when making the perfect burger. If you even learned one thing, then I met my goal to try to share with you guys uh, how to create a better burger and, uh, you know, and eat it. So I think I hear the wonderful sassy kitchen queen in there. She's making a delicious dinner tonight. I love you, baby, and I'm headed that way. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I had to cut it short here because uh, the sassy kitchen queen here is cooking a delicious dinner for us tonight. Tell, baby, tell us what, what you're cooking. Oh, I'm cooking uh, some penne pasta with some smoked, um, hot smoked mm. sausage. I'm new at it. And uh, it's going to have a lot of good stuff. It's quick, easy meal, and you'll love it. Yeah. Onions, no, bell peppers. I'm, I'll love it. He'll love it. You guys can read out. You'll love to watch. You guys can read all about it on Sassy's Instagram, The Sassy Kitchen Queen. Woohoo! All right. And hopefully here in about a month or less, uh, she's going to have her own blog page on greenhornbarbecuebeer.com slash the Sassy Kitchen Queen. So be looking for her there for any recipes and other links to interesting stuff and just, just uh, you know, her, her pretty face and her tasty dishes and oh, her sassiness. And her, you know, she's little, you know, her sassiness. <laughs> so, so go check it out. Otherwise, thank you for watching the video and stopping by tonight. If you like this video, please subscribe, tap the bell, and you'll get uh, future alerts and you won't miss a thing. Thank you. Peace out.